Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and today I'm going to show you how you can use Retail for your customer relationship management. So let's get started. First of all, you need to create your account from free trial or you can just go and log in if you already have an existing account. And here I will just use CRM and then I'm going to insert my login credentials and be back for you in seconds. And here we go. See, so this is how your retail CRM will look like. So in order to start organizing your own relationship with your customers or contacts, you need first to create these contacts in the first place. So this is done by going to this plus sign on the top. Here you will find that you can create multiple things. So we will begin by creating our first contact so that we can organize our own relationship with this contact. Now let's select the type of the contact. So basically you can select it as an individual, business, association, trust, or union. For the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm going to go and select it as select him as an individual. Here you will find many data that you need to insert for your own contact. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to insert the mandatory ones. So I'm going to name my salutation as Mrs. Sarah and I'm gonna choose the address type here as work address and I'm gonna pick this address then I'm gonna insert that here the email is autofilled because I already saved this data before and now I will just leave the rest of this information empty and I'm going to press on save contact. You can also press on save and new if you want to add a new contact immediately after saving this current contact. Now I'm just going to take this content contact and here you can find that there is an error. So it basically if you did anything wrong, Redtail CRM will give you an alert that something is missing and it will tell you exactly what is missing so as not to be confused. Here it says that email type can be blank. So I can go to the email section downward and I will find that the email type is literally blank. So I'm going to select it as work email and I'm going to proceed to save my contact. Perfect. My first contact has been added. So in order to start organizing my own relationship with, with this contact, I can go to this add sign and I can add different things like activities for example. I can do this by cl clicking on activities or I can just exit this and go to calendar. I can adjust my calendar as my calendar view as day, week or monthly basis. I can also filter events here. So in order to uh, create a new event you can just go to any future date and double click on the day you want then you will be able to create the activity details so here I will I will have to link this activity with a specific contact so here I will search for my contact that I have created before I will say urgent meeting and I will not choose it all day I will just give it an hour then I'm gonna select the type as an appointment and I'm going to set the importance as high and the priority as my first priority. And now I'm going to click on create activity. Perfect. Now next to add is documents. This is done by choosing documents. Then you can add the contact here. So I will add the same contact that I have created earlier. And now you can create or upload your own document by drag and drop here or you can just press on add files to access your own device and uh, upload an, a document from it. Next is notes. You can go and add notes to your own customers or your own contacts. Here you can link this uh, note to a specific contact. Here I noticed that there is a bug in um, retail. If you chose note from here, from this plus sign and you try to insert your own contact, it will not give you any results even if you have this contact already registered in your list. And now if you go and click on save note, it will give you the error because this contact is not registered. 
you basically wrote a name and you did not choose a contact that is already registered in your list. This is solved by just exiting here. Then you can go to your today activities or any of these tabs and you can then go to notes from here. Then you can create your own note by choosing the plus sign again, then choosing notes. Then now you can write the name of the contact and guess what? It appeared. So I don't really know why this happens. I think it's a bug in retail. However, it totally works when you do it this way. Now you can write the body of your own note. So let's say, for example, this is my primary contact. You can also choose how this text will be displayed. You can add boldness. You can add an underline. You can also adjust this uh, the alignment. You can add an image, add a table, and more. Now you can also adjust category and multiple things. Here I will just leave things as it is and I will go and save my own note. Perfect, it has been added. And after refreshing my own page, it appeared here. You can also filter your own notes based on last 24 hours, last 3 days, or last 7 days. Next, you can go to the plus sign where you can add seminars. Here you will decide the type of the seminar, so let's say meeting or onboarding seminar. And you will be able to choose the status, start date, start time, in date and in time. Once you are done, you can click on Add Seminar. Now you can adjust the location, description. You can also link a workflow to it. Next step is to add an opportunity. This is done by choosing the name of the opportunity. You can also add a description. You can add the type of business and you can select the permission type. Once you are done, you can click on add new opportunity. Perfect. Now the last thing, and in my point of view, it's one of the most important things is workflows. This is actually like a scheme or an agenda for you so that you can start creating a workflow for yourself and for your own customers. Here you can just choose the workflow name like tutorial for example. You can choose the contact name here and you can add a description. Now I would suggest you to press on create and edit so that you can adjust your own steps and not to click on create new workflow because it will technically be useless. This is an empty workflow so of course you will like to add some steps to it. So let's create, click on create an edit and go to edit our own workflow. And here you will be able to click on this drop down menu and choose new task for example. Then you can go to this task, click on it so that you can add this task information. And once you are done, you can go and click on new step so that a new step will be added to your own workflow. And you can do exactly the same as you did before to the previous task. And this is how easy you can use Retail CRM. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.